Hi everyone, Kristen Anchor here, kristenanchor.com, your parent empowerment specialist. How are you doing? I wanted to come on today and give you a little lesson about what's going on in our brain right now when we're feeling stressed, um, anxious, worried, overwhelmed, and what happens and why we react the way we react and what can we do different to show up a little better version of ourselves next time, right? There's always a next time. And this work is done by Dr. Dan Siegel. He taught me and it's called the brain in the palm of your hand. So if you look at your hand and if you look at your palm um, down, think about this is where those automatic bodily functions happen. Your heartbeat, your breathing. This is where that happens. It's also where your freeze, fight, flight response is located. And if you put your thumb over the middle of your hand, this represents the amygdala, the midbrain. It's where the major radar lives. What are you going to do? Are you going to freeze? Are you going to fight? Or are you going to flight? It's also where our emotions and our memories are stored. So sometimes some of my clients will say, oh, I never thought I'd say that. You know, I never thought I would sound like my mother. And that's when it comes out, right? When we're triggered and when um, our emotions and our memories come out. And then if you put your fingers down, this is your brain. This is your brain. So the back of your brain represents the um, where the senses come in, your sight, uh, taste, hearing. And if you go towards the front, this is the cortex. This is where all the thinking happens. And if you look at the very front here, your distal fingertips, that's the prefrontal cortex. And if you can notice where that lies in relation to what I was showing you before. So that amygdala, the midbrain, your, your freeze, fight, flight response. And there's a lot of connections that happen here. So what does your brain look like when you're feeling stressed and you had a really bad day and um, you didn't get enough sleep last night and you didn't get the work done that you wanted to get done because you were homeschooling your children and you know like what happens when someone just do 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 you know the kids are fighting and your spouse comes home and says something and you're just like boom so the scientists the the brain scientists have discovered that this is what happens our prefrontal cortex just stops working it stops working and that prefrontal cortex is in charge of so much. It's in charge of so much. It's that executive functioning skills, that response flexibility, your intuition, your mind sight. Um, it's, it's that um, interpersonal relationships, it's morality. So much happens here and it is not working. We flipped our lid, we flipped our lid. So how do we get from here back to here? Because the other big thing that neuroscientists have discovered are mirror neurons. And those mirror neurons are called monkey see, monkey do neurons. It's why it's so important to not just uh, do what we say. You wanna do what we do. So when we're like this, what do you think our child is gonna be like? And when your spouse is like this, how do you sometimes react, right? So it's mirror neurons. But if you're like this and your child is like this too, who is responsible for that relationship? We are, right? We are. So that prefrontal cortex, it's not fully developed until the age of 25. And so we're sometimes expecting our kids to be able to to do this and to, to have that response flexibility and emotional regulation and, and to be able to do this. And they actually, um, they can't yet, they can't. They're like in this, 
they're also so present, you know, we're sometimes stuck in our head thinking about the past or the future and they are just present. So this is a huge tool to learn. One, I would highly recommend teaching this to your child because sometimes you can say, sometimes you get so mad at your brother and you just do, you're like this. And you know what happens? That's called the lizard brain. It is, it's the reptilian brain. And reptiles, they eat their young. So we, when I do this work with kids, we call this the lizard brain and this is the wizard brain. The wizard brain thinks a little bit before. So as an adult, what we are responsible is to get from here to there and this is the work right this is really hard and it's called self-regulation it's going to look different for everybody so as a positive discipline educator i teach uh people to understand that people do better when they feel better kids do better when they feel better adults do better when they feel better so what can you do to make yourself feel good? What can you do to make yourself feel good? What brings you joy? What brings you this happiness? And do it now. If you want to learn more, go to kristenanchor.com. You can sign up for my newsletter and get this great little worksheet on um, right now, it is creating an at-home learning space, um, but I have a lot of great courses going on right now. So I hope you join me over in the Parent Empowerment Group, in my Facebook community, or um, in one of my upcoming courses. And for now, stay calm, stay kind, and stay connected. Bye for now. KristenAnchor.com.